Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amanda T and Me, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. Okay, to be honest, it's been a lot more like tea talk, and that's right up my line. Um, but it also means that we haven't discovered five of the coffee drinks, and we're still lacking one of the green tea or matcha drink. So that is something to keep in mind. Anyway, um, I have something cozy. I hope you have something cozy. So let's get back to the game. Oh my goodness, I mean... Hold on. Missed some conversation. Oh, it's because I cut off where I saved yesterday. Alright, different is oh, isn't always good. It's a neat concept. But you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. Oh! It's Kyla! Good evening, everyone. Mr. Mystery Man. Am I interrupting? Look like you're having an intense conversation. Nah, uh, it's nothing. Amanda was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Heavy discussion. So what are you up to? Just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, but he does need to interrupt me. Hey, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm. Remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? Sure. Yeah, I didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. <sighs> tea and ginger. Well, you know, we know all the tea drinks. I mean, it may not be. It could be, you know. What if it's a... Um... Tea ginger cinnamon. Tea tea tea. Well, you know... How about, let's do tea milk ginger. I said that'd be really bitter though, right? How bitter is that? Well, we'll try a Galahad, and if it's wrong, um, we will try a Masala Chai next time. Oh, good! I've made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Doesn't seem like a big gallon guy? Yeah. Oh my god, guys! It's called... A Galahad, and his name is Gala. Am I dumb? Wait. Also, we've increased our relationship with him. Oh! Veteran working in a hospital now. Okay, well, oh, that was wrong. All right, so Galahad, Galahad. Okay, anyway, you're done. I have a lot of new homework, thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. I guess it'll be a peaceful night then. That's me for you. Oh, come on. I was just joking. He needs to communicate his thoughts nicely. He may not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. 
I don't know. The fact that he's been able to maintain a friendship for decades speaks volumes. Oh, it's Bailey's! Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. How are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Amanda was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. It's cruel. It's necessary. <laughs> Interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know, it's not that original. But my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh? With the help of my publisher. This kind of book may go mainstream. That's kind of cool. Netstream. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing. And the names involved. Oh, like that Choose Your Own Adventure that Netflix did. Reach mainstream market. That sounds interesting. And highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea. Which is... Making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. But... I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world. And that's even before considering the sensitive issues of setting the story in a world where only humans ex exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finished it, okay? All right, all right. All right, Bailey, what do you want to drink? Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Cheeky Freya. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. No, you haven't, sir. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Okay. Okay, so it's not a milk drink. Okay, it's not a chocolate drink. Okay, ginger latte. So it's gonna be either coffee ginger milk or coffee milk ginger. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, no art this time, bro. Damn, this is good. With this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't as any bigger. What we have now is more than enough for me. All right. And we've uh, closed the loop, so to speak, with Bailey. Um, oh, it you know, that, that kind of makes sense. If he's a pumpkin spice fan, he probably would like a ginger latte. Favorite things. Punk. Been listening to pumpkin spice since I was a wee lad. Oh, it's a band. I thought you were talking about drinks. My bad. What am I doing with my life? Escaping bloodlines. Experiencing life one color at a time. One day I will have my own solo exhibition. designer fair enough 
very fun. Oh, and ginger latte, warm energy boost, perfect for a cold evening. Hmm. So coffee, maybe ground ginger and milk. Sounds like something fun to try. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. By the way, are you, how are you doing, Bailey? Still busy with your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. Are you dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as in, I finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure it's even done before the deadline. Oh, yeah, like, get rid of her. That's fair. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course. But I convinced her. By using some design terms that she doesn't understand. So you finish your job by bullshitting her. Yep, good for him. The finest bullshit, my lady. And that's one survival school skill every freelancer must have. Alright, so what are you working on now? Nothing? Taking a break. I need to work on a few personal matters. Uh oh. Lua. Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? It's just that. I was young and stupid, you know? I think everyone's been young and stupid. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Surprise. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Ooh, that's a lot. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend. And that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. So if they break up, it's like super tense. She was one of the hottest girls there. But everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's... I don't want to get into the details. But the succubus was super hot. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She's a player too. That doesn't sound like Lua at all. That's because it wasn't. <laughs> Lua was my friend's girl. Ooh, no. The other girl's name. Let's just call her Rose. Sure, that sounds like a succubus name. I think Lua knew that her relationship fake name you made up. Yikes. Now, will you let me continue without the interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew I was after. It annoyed her so much. But I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty guy back then? Oh, gross. Mm, college. I lived with Cognac back in college. Been out, and I got back just as Lua arrived. Total coincidence. Uh, we went in our place together and witnessed something surprising. 
Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Oh, that sucks. I saw the look on Lua's face. Disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. Oh my goodness. I got into a fight with him. I haven't told you. Cognac was Brazilian Judith was a did. Martial arts. Beat him to a pulp. Oh, that stinks, guy. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was being pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. Aww. We were closer after that. And I don't even remember the exact date. But suddenly, that friendship turned into a relationship. It's one hell of a story. I know. That's kind of... I don't know, that's kind of not like that dramatic or anything, but that's kind of like how my partner and I were. We were like friends first, and then like next thing you know, we're spending every day together for like months and months and months and months. And after like a year, we're just like on the couch one day, and it's like, is this like it? Is this a thing? And, and uh, he was like, well, are you seeing anyone? Like, are you hanging out with anyone other than me? And I was like, no, are you? He was like, no don't want to and, and we just kind of knew that that we were the other person's person and yeah it's been like that for almost a decade so ah uh, introverts dating <laughs> uh all right so he wants to know if she has seen lua yeah lua came by a few days ago how is she? Oh, she won't return your calls or texts. That sucks. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With who? Um, a male model. A model? I don't think she was that. I didn't think she was that kind of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? You? Lua told us about the reason behind the fight. About your family stuff. And this guy, Hyde, joined the conversation. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval. Considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or should I say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know... Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something that elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? 
They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and then cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. It's not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental. But your family is racist. Tell me about it. Lou is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciling with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know? I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? Yeah, Gayla, get in it. What about her and her family? You might be maybe happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. Okay. Gayla, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume that the person you're talking about is not Elf, correct? Yes, she's a succubus. Let's see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack. But we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that? All those bad stereotypes about succubi are true. Yeah, Bailey. I never thought about it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a different, in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now. But don't you know what the future holds? But you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decision. One day you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances might be. You know? Love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first. But over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. Because life... Life is full of storms. And marriage it will not survive on love alone. Whoa, that's deep. <laughs> we'll have each other, and that's enough for us. No, that's enough for you, dude. Do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. For what? For her? Immortality is an elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Emptied their entire savings for an $8 pill because in this country they charge $20,000 for it. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privileges you do. There's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've gotta go. I apologize for my intrusion. 
intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've gotta go too. Wanna head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Manda. And Freya. Bye. So abrupt. You made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. How can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. I wonder if one of these days she's going to like change up her drink like randomly. Caffeine boost dominated by milk. Cafe latte. Oh guys, I'm loving it so much. Tuesday, September 29th. WHO vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury Sedative illegally. Coachella? Couchella? 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. Okay. All right. We're gonna head out to the main menu. And um, yeah, let's see where we're at here. All right, now I believe we only have one matcha drink left to discover, right? Because there are, okay, that's all of them. So four coffees, there are all the teas. There we go. So let's do it. Let's figure this out. So we already have tea lemon honey, tea milk milk, tea mint mint, tea ginger cinnamon. Not sure, I could either, I, I'm on the fence about this one. I could really like it or really hate it. <laughs> here we go, so here's some matcha. We're just gonna go down the list. Milk ginger. Matcha ginger milk. Okay. Matcha mint milk. Matcha milk mint. Matcha milk lemon. Mm, I, again, I think that would curdle. Matcha lemon milk. Because I think if the lemon was already like steeped in, it would be fine. Okay. Matcha honey milk. Matcha milk honey. Kind of just want to eliminate the milk. Okay. Matcha cinnamon milk. Matcha milk cinnamon. I feel like the cinnamon would overpower the green tea. Okay, so I think those are all of our green tea and matcha drinks that have milk in them. I think so. 
Okay, so let's do matcha ginger mint. Matcha mint ginger. Matcha mint lemon. I think this is how we get that cough medicine stuff. Matcha lemon mint. Matcha ginger lemon. Matcha lemon ginger. Lemon honey. Matcha honey lemon. I think it's just normal. Okay. Matcha ginger honey. Matcha honey ginger. Honey mint. Matcha mint honey. Okay. Mint. Honey cinnamon. Matcha cinnamon honey. I think we've done all the honey ones. So matcha cinnamon ginger. Matcha ginger cinnamon. Okay, we know that one. Matcha mint cinnamon. Matcha lemon cinnamon. Matcha cinnamon. I think I already did that one. Oh shoot. Matcha lemon cinnamon. Oh, I'm starting to like lose the plot here. Okay, 
So let's go tea, milk, ginger. done all these but it's probably what I did first but now I'm like I just want to be sure there aren't any other base items that we can mix with. That's just sweet and green tea. <gasps> Shin Jimacha? Do I know that one? <gasps> I didn't! A variation of the Japanese brew, mixing the brown rice with ginger. Uh, okay. So it's a much more complicated drink than in the game. So green tea, green tea. So it's definitely a matcha drink. It has cinnamon in it. It also has brown rice with ginger. It's not the first time I've seen a rice in a beverage. Hey, but we know all the green tea and matcha drinks now, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I feel like I would either love or hate that thing. The Grinch? Mm. Alrighty, guys. Well, this has been an absolute blast. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. So four more drinks, guys, for us to learn. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. As always, take care and happy sipping.